Exploring generative images using an AI based model. Easy Diffusion is a collection of tools which can be easily installed and used to generate images based on a training database that is provided. To use the tool, you provide a prompt text, which is decoded by a large language model, and some other attributes such as a random seed, and style guides, and maybe even a, a, a comparative image, the base, the output on. When using the CUDA uh, uh, graphics cores available in NVIDIA graphics cards, you can produce images in around a minute. So here are a number of images where I used the same prompt and just gen used it would generate random seeds to the random number generator. And other times I aborted the image generation at different times. And when I did that, it would generate um, images such like this, which show sort of stages of what's going on in behind the scenes. So this image is slowly becoming more and more detailed from a, originally a random set of blobs. Also, the, the software has obviously a database of, of people, faces. Um, uh, I don't know what the training data is. So here I was trying to use Robert Moog, who's a fairly famous synthesizer designer. Um, and uh, these images do bear resemblance to him, although none of them are his actual image, as far as I know. It looks like the word Bob and the word Moog both have their own images, and it's some combination of those. I'm not sure whether what the tagging, obviously you don't know what the tagging was originally. So we can do different things, like we can use the same prompt and change the seed, or we can have the same seed and change the prompt. So this is basically I using my wife's ne um, name as the part of the prompt. And these are all apparently people called Laurie or versions of it. We're, we are guessing that um, something like LinkedIn's profile pages we used, but it could be any other source of public information. My surname is not very useful since it seems to generate pictures of cemeteries. Um, some words, obviously, which have dual meaning, i.e., double entendre, can be. Difficult to use if you only want the safe images. The word pussy can mean a lot of different things. And certainly about one in five of the images generated was definitely parts of the female anatomy. So I didn't put those into here. There's also a lot of pop culture. It's obviously a lot of famous people, famous popular shows such as The Matrix. So I'm assuming these are posters that were scanned into, as part of the training data. Um, other, uh, this is uh, Robert Plant and was the prompt, and this was obviously the Rolling Stones. Frankie goes to Hollywood. Elon Musk shake hands with Donald Duck. So these ones I've basically provided the uh, screenshot, which contains the prompt and the seed and other information. So all these were basically done, I think, with one seed and just change the prompt and the guide image. So you can use it as a random cat picture generator. So I, again, I was trying um, different uh, memes. This was, uh, forgive me father, for I have synthed. 
and uh, so it's uh, quite a lot of fun once I got it working. Hope you enjoyed it.